Everything that they thought that they needed from other people doesn't even make them happy because the key thing in self-love is loving self. Who is always, it seems, unlucky in love. Despite their best intentions and efforts, they seem to move from one unsatisfying candidate to another without ever being able to settle. One lover turned out to be secretly married to someone else. Another, after an initial period of enthusiasm, never called back. A third turned out to be alcoholic and violent. We can only express sympathy for what seems like so much bad luck. When you think of finding the one, what type of person comes to mind? Do you think of your ideal partner, someone who truly understands you and accepts you just as you are? Modern media really pushes the idea of finding that perfect person. And while indulging in the rom-com fantasy can be fun and exciting, being in a relationship is not a requirement for happiness. Relationships are a personal choice, and the one you hold with yourself is the most important one of all. understand that concept you you will never find the one because the one really is you that's the one because when you have full confidence in yourself full knowledge of self full understanding of yourself uh, 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 be able to be able to accept the critical things about yourself the criticism you don't like and change it be accept the things that are good about yourself and elevate that and highlight that until you until you have that security within yourself you can't expect for somebody to come and have that for you a lot of times y'all looking for saviors. You're looking for somebody to come save you and you say you're looking for the one or that special one. You're looking for somebody to come save you and fix you. And that's not what you should be looking for. You should be looking for companionship. That work should be already done so when you meet that person, you're an asset to that person. That's how it should be. Or would you meet, it don't gotta even be a person. But when you meet that goal, when you make that team, when you make that, that, that next step, when you get into that new circle, you're an asset. Not a liability, you're not just there sucking, you're not just there being parasitic, you're being symbiotic and you're giving as much as you're receiving it and that's how things flow, flow together. Because if you so-called find that one and you don't have nothing to offer, guess what's going to happen? You're going to eventually drain that person. You'll see that person as an enemy or you'll see that person as someone who was a negative experience but you ain't never got yourself together. So understand that family, you ain't going to find that one until you understand that you have to first find yourself and be that one. Peace, love, life, and balance.